my name is Magdalena Zalewski from the Law Office of Magdalena Zalewski PLLC. So what is the purpose of a preference uh, of a preference claim? The fundamental policy of the bankruptcy code is to treat similarly, similarly situated creditors equally. Let's look at a hypothetical, a pretty silly one, but um, it kind of presents the information pretty simply. So Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, they each sell TNT to Acme Corporation at a price of $100,000 with net 30 terms. Acme pays Bugs Bunny $100,000 on its due date. And then 40 days after the payment, Acme Corporation files a voluntary petition seeking relief under Chapter 11 of the Bankruptcy Code. So now here, whereas Bugs Bunny got 100 cents on the dollar, Daffy Duck got zero cents on the dollar. So Daffy Duck files what's called a proof of claim for the $100,000 that is still owed. And within the statute of limitations, so that two year statute of limitations from the date the petition was, the bankruptcy petition was filed, the debtor in possession here, Acme Corporation, initiates an adversary proceeding against Bugs Bunny seeking to avoid and recover the transfer made to Bugs Bunny as an alleged preference payment. If Bugs Bunny fails to respond to the complaint, a default judgment may be entered against him for the entire amount of the claim. So in other words, the, hundred, the full $100,000. On the one hand, it's not fair that Daffy Duck didn't receive any payment from Acme Corporation for the goods he provided um, and Bugs Bunny got 100%. But on the other hand, it's not really fair to encumber Bugs Bunny with the responsibility to pay Daffy Duck. Uh, it's an obligation that Acme Corporation incurred. So to kind of uh, put that burden on um, Bugs Bunny is just simply not fair. Nevertheless, um, the fundamental policy to treat similarly situated creditors uh, will prevail when weighing the conflicting interests of Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. And so theoretically, in this instance, if Bugs Bunny cannot bring any um, any defenses to overcome the um, preference allegation, then he would have to return the hundred thousand dollars. It would go back into the estate and theoretically would be redistributed equally amongst um, all of the debtors. And in this case, uh, both Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny would each get fifty thousand dollars.